What's going on, YouTubers? Today, I want to show you guys how to pair a speed and a cadence sensor to your Wahoo Element. I'm going to be using my Wahoo Element Bolt computer. There she is right there. And I do have a speed sensor. Here's my speed sensor, and there's my cadence sensor. I found out that the best place to put your speed sensor is on the tire, the stem of the tire in the front or you can use the back. As far as the cadence sensor go, the arm of the crank seems to be the best place for that. So let's get right into it. Very simple and clear instructions on how to add a speed sensor or a cadence sensor to your Wahoo bike computer. The one thing I like about these sensors is that they're, both of them come with very clear instructions. So let's go over the speed sensor instructions first. As you can see, it tells you how to pair the sensors to your app. First thing first, you need to turn on your Bluetooth on your phone, download the app. You can download the app from the App Store or the Google Play Store. And to activate the sensor and put it in a pairing mode, all you have to do is shake the sensor. Then you want to go into the pairing mode. Open the Wahoo Fitness app to the sensor page. Make sure you shake the sensor and it should pick up the sensor. If it asks you to update your firmware, go ahead and update that. Next thing we want to do, we want to turn on our element bolt. Here's my element bolt. We want to select add sensor, which is easy to do. On the left side, there's a button, and on the right side, there's two buttons. You just want to go down. Let me see if I can get this clear. There we go. You want to go down until you see Add Sensors, and then you want to select the middle button there for Add. Simple as that. And you want to make sure that blue light is activated so your computer or the app can pick up the sensor. My sensors are already placed on the bike, but I'm going to show you it's very easy to do. You can shake the sensor, or if you install it on the bike, just turn the wheel. And you should see a blinking blue light. There's your blinking blue light. Same thing for your cadence sensor. That was the speed sensor. If you spin your crank, you should see a blinking blue light. So that's how you activate your speed and your cadence sensor. Now let's go over the instructions for the cadence sensor. Pretty similar to the speed sensor. This is the speed sensor. This is your cadence sensor. The instructions are the same. Once you've turned on your Bluetooth and download the app, you don't have to go through those steps. You can just move on over to number three, activate the sensor and pair the sensor by opening up the Wahoo Fitness app to the sensor page. It may ask you for firmware updates, do that as well. Turn on your Element Boat or another Wahoo computer you may have. Go down to the sensor page, add sensor. And it says to activate the sensor, hold the element next to the RPM cadence. So you wanna hold your computer next to the sensor. It doesn't have to be super close. As you can see, my computer is up top. My sensor's there, but it's in range to pick up the sensor's connection. Simple as that. And at the bottom here, it gives you some illustrated photos on how to mount the sensor. As you can see, it comes with a nice, a nice little mounting kit for your speed sensor. And it tells you the best place to connect your sensor. Same with the cadence. 
Here's your mount options. It comes with an adhesive tab, which I really don't care for too much. The zip ties seem to work best for me. And they also have a shoe mount. This is how it look, would look with the adhesive tab. This is how it would look with the zip mounts. Or the zip ties. That's how it would look with the zip ties. And this is how it would look on the shoe, which I really don't trust. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And until the next time, talk to you soon.